A quality steam pressure regulator is one of the most important components in your steam system since control of pressure can be critical to safe and efficient operation. Here we illustrate a pilot operated regulating valve and how it works. The pilot receives its operating pressure from the upstream side of the main valve through quarter inch piping. When one tightens down on the adjusting spring on the pilot, it puts pressure on the diaphragm and opens the pilot, allowing steam to enter the connected tubing. This tubing goes to a bleed port on the downstream side of the main valve and is also connected to the main valve under its diaphragm. This intermediate pressure from the pilot flexes the main valve diaphragm and opens the main valve. The steam pressure downstream of the main valve is fed back through a sensing line. As the downstream pressure increases to set point, there will be enough pressure underneath the pilot diaphragm to balance against the adjusting spring tension. The pilot will react and the pilot will modulate and start to close. As the pilot modulates closed, excess pressure under the main diaphragm will bleed off through the downstream bleed port and the main valve will modulate further closed. As demand picks up and downstream pressure starts to drop, there will be more force on top of the pilot diaphragm than underneath it. The pilot will modulate further open, increasing the intermediate pressure under the main valve diaphragm and modulating the main valve further open to continue to maintain the downstream pressure. To learn more about pilot operated regulating valves and to get proper sizing for your system, contact the team at Campbell CV. Campbell CV, Intelligent Steam, Air and Water Solutions.